So a few days ago, I went out hiking into a canyon. Heading down this awesome, like, trail. Found some natural water. Not gonna lie, I'm like terrified <laughs> there being like a snake or something. Oh God, it's a snake. See, I was just about to turn the freaking camera off. And developed a roll of film in a creek. Try it. I'll fill these three bad boys up. <laughs> this is awesome. Photos came out great and the process worked nearly perfect. That is the coolest thing ever. Oh my gosh. Woo! And just one thing was bugging me and that is the photos just sucked. Like completely sucked and I literally could not like sleep. It was just bugging me how much these photos sucked. So the whole process of hiking down this trail, finding the perfect spot along like this running creek and developing the film wasn't too much of a challenge. The only challenge really was just making sure the water was like a good enough temperature, which for me just happened to work out almost perfectly. It was almost 68 degrees. It was around like 64, 65 degrees, which is fine for me, uh, just a few degrees off. And I just kept the normal developing time for like the triax that I shot. Um, and just the process of using like natural water um, was such a good experience uh, because it's something just you've never seen before and never really done before. Um, so I was really excited to try everything out. But again, the photo sucked. <laughs> so at first, my own mindset going into this was just that it was a test, didn't really care what the photos looked like and was just gonna shoot whatever and just make sure the process like actually works and it's like doable developing film outdoors in daylight in natural water not like in a dark room in a sink in some bathroom or a lab or anything like that um so it was a really cool experience that actually worked out like 100 percent perfectly which is so odd to me for some reason so then what i did was take another roll of hp5 that i shot i don't even know how many months ago went back out to that creek and developed the roll again because I was just like, if I'm gonna do this, I want some photos that I'm happy with. I can go to bed knowing I didn't shoot some stupid photo of a rock that I don't like um, out of this like whole process and have something that I'm satisfied with. So the overall goal of this whole thing was to develop film in a natural creek and like do this almost like natural development type process of like this whole manual handcrafting these photos and developing them like in the natural elements was the ultimate goal and it was awesome, really happy, even kind of with the photos that suck uh, because they just came out in general. And then with the second roll, um, because it just shows that you can literally shoot film and develop it like absolutely anywhere. You don't have to have a dark room, you don't have to have a lab, you don't have to have any of that um, or a scanner if you even want and just um, do the whole process naturally handmade um, I'm probably gonna end up like enlarging one of these photos just for the sake of just like what the whole process kind of means um, in regards to like you know what was shot and just how everything went down again overall this was like a great process and definitely gonna do it again definitely gonna try it again it's something I'm not gonna just gonna do like well I guess two times and just like done um, gonna definitely like do it some more whenever I have the time to just like go out on a weekend or whatever and just like develop it works it's it's an awesome like experience and like process and uh yeah so if you like this video thanks for watching it it was a struggle making it being that i had to go out again and just like shoot and develop uh but more videos to come hit that subscribe button hit that bell so you can uh, be notified because i have a lot more videos coming thanks for watching